guys and welcome back to another video. Today I am taking you through what I eat in a week. I'm gonna say this right now and say it loud. I am not a cook. I can't really cook anything other than like two meals. But those two meals like, ooh. But everything else is like, you'll see, you'll just see, you know what I mean? I'm learning to cook at the moment, it's a slow journey, it's just not something that I learned growing up and it's not something that I learned at school or anything, so I'm like self-teaching myself and at the same time it's one of them things I feel like you need a lot of practice with to like get it down and to like kind of get into food and know what you like and don't like and how to cook certain things and you have to kind of be at like one with food. Cooking is like an art form to do really well at it. I'm on that journey. <laughs> but I wanted to kind of take you through what I eat in a week. I am trying to go vegetarian, stroke vegan, but I'm not like strict on that. I just wanna eat less meat and eat less animal products in general for health benefits and also for the environmental benefits. At the moment, all I eat is the occasional bit of chicken or in this video, fish as it turned out. But I normally aim to eat meat once a week and then also pizza. Like I just can't find any good vegan pizzas. So yeah, that's, that's why we're still on the pepperoni pizzas. And in terms of dairy, the only dairy that I actually eat is cheese because I can't find a good vegan cheese, but everything else is dairy free. So yeah, just wanted to put that out here now so you kind of know what I'm eating. I mean, I do say it in the clips, but like know why I'm eating soy and tofu and all of that. And if you're vegetarian or vegan, or even if it's a meat recipe, but it can be easily adapted, please let me know in the comments if you have any good ones. I'm always looking to cook new things and try new things. So yeah, please let me know down below. And this is what I eat in a week as a student. Broke student. <laughs> okay, roll the clips. So the first thing I had on Monday was a bowl of cereal. I'm not really a cereal person at all, so I will rarely have it, but it was just kind of all I had in the cupboards this Monday. So I had Cheerios and I had it with oat milk. All the milks that I have are non-dairy, so bear that in mind for all the clips that I show you. Then I had a smoothie, which was cherry and banana, and obviously oat milk again followed by some pasta after my seminar, which was just normal spaghetti with a bit of pecorino on top and passata. And then in the evening, following the Italian theme, I had a salami pizza and a garlic bread when I was watching one of the Jason Bourne films. And that's pretty much it for Monday. So I started Tuesday morning off with two croissants and a bit of butter. This is much more my type of breakfast. I prefer pastries first thing in the morning with a hot drink here. It's not pictured, but I had a lemon tea. And then for lunch, I had this like cheese bread with a tomato soup, which is also kind of like my go-to lunch when I want something quick. And I had a chocolate chip muffin afterwards because they need to be used to up. And then for dinner, I had this cod with a lemon and herb seasoning and salad. I'm trying to not eat meat and fish as much as possible, but you know, Know, there's an odd time once a week where I just tend to have it. So for Wednesday, I had more time to cook breakfast in the morning. So I had a bagel with a fried egg, this fake vegan bacon, and then a bit of cheddar cheese. I'm still yet to find a good vegan cheese. So if you know any, let me know in the comments. Had this with an orange juice. And then for lunch, again, I had another tomato soup, but this time I had it with one of those baguettes, you know, like you can keep in the cupboard and then just bang them in the oven whenever you want them, one of those. Then for Wednesday evening, I cooked a risotto. This is one of my favorite meals to cook and probably one of the only things I can actually cook. So the way you cook this is I do it with soy rather than chicken and then red onion, the arabato rice, bang in some passata and some vegetable stock and then just bang a little bit of butter and cheese in at the end and that's pretty much it. And I also made enough for tomorrow. And then after that I wanted a sweet treat because I was watching The Crown on Netflix. So I had this chocolate cake and some vegan ice cream. <laughs> Thursday's breakfast, I made these like, like these frozen pastries that take 10 minutes in the oven. So I had them, they were super good. And then for lunch, I had the leftover risotto, which I burnt, as you can see here. And then for dinner, I had some mashed potato, green beans, and a soy, like fake chicken, basically, in um, a spicy seasoning, followed by a Kit Kat, because I have a sweet tooth, if you can't already tell. 
Then finally for Friday, I had the same like breakfast muffin thingy. So fried egg, fake bacon, bit of cheese in a bagel. And then for lunch, I had a salad with the same chicken, soy, basically fake chicken in a spicy seasoning that I had the day before. And then in the evening on Friday, I made fajitas. And other than risotto, this is probably the only other thing that I can cook. So I did this with red pepper, onion, and soy with a bit of lettuce. And then rather than having a pudding, I just had a banana and peanut butter smoothie to kind of take away my sweet cravings for that evening. And that's all I had that week. So that is what I eat in a week. As you can see, I have a bit of a sweet tooth. I do like junk food, but then I like working out. I work out probably for five hours a week. So I feel like that justifies having a bit of cake or a Kit Kat every now and again. That's how I like to look at it anyway. So please just go along with me on that. And yeah, I hope you liked this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Thank you.